Boom, here we go, we're in the house. Let me get rid of that secret black screen. What's up everybody, how are you doing today? Feeling it today, I got the energy today. I hope you have the energy too, I'm excited. I'm excited about the topic today. Let's do some shout outs. Big hello to Bisma who's in the house. Edgar's in the house, what's up Edgar? Mahmood's in the house, Mahmood likes the music, everybody can hear me. Winning, I feel like we're gonna win today, it's gonna be a good day. Lolly's in the house, sounds perfect. Stop it, Lolly, stop flattering me. Jose's in the house, Hyum's in the house, hello Hyum, great name, like it. Uh, Judas in the house, hello, no picture, yeah, I know. Look, check this out, you can see my body floating around and just, oh my god, where'd I go? Oh, I'm back, okay, this is cool, I like that, I'm enjoying that right now. Uh, who else is in the chat? Hello, Clanera, how you doing? Edgar's in, yeah, I already said hello to Edgar. Silvio's in the house, hello, Silvio, what's up, buddy? Tudo bem? Uh, Gloria's in the house, hello, Gloria. Who else is here? Who did I miss? I don't want to miss anybody. Ilyas is in the house, what's up, smart? We smell, s we, s we smell smart, we smell smart, S-M-R-T over here, the, s the smart way, the Homer Simpson way. That's how we do it. Juvin's in the house, hello, Juvin. Jerome's in the house. Hello, Jerome. Professor Enrique is in the house. Hello, Professor. You keep me keep me correct, okay? If I'm making mistakes, you tell me what I'm doing wrong, okay? It's going to be my secret weapon. Nady's in the house. Hello, Nady. Uh, El Gamdi Abdullah. Hello, El, El Gamdi Abdullah. How you doing? Doa's in the house. Hello, Doa. Did I miss anybody? I think I got everybody. I hope I got everybody. I don't want to miss anybody. We've got to say hello to everyone. We've got to say good morning. Hello, Munira. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Uh, let's see what else. Who uh, did I get? Hey, Gianni. I think I said that right. I hope I said that right, because that's a Brazilian name for sure. How are you doing? Uracil, how are you doing? And again, if you guys, when you come in, maybe we should get into the habit of doing this. Say, hey, it's Kent from blah, blah, blah. I'm from Vancouver, Canada. And uh, maybe you give yourself a little introduction just so we can get to know where everybody's from because it's cool I love I love learning where everybody's from. It's really interesting. That's exactly what I'm talking about Hyum. Kurdistan there we go. I've never I don't think I've never met a student from Kurdistan. So great to meet you Jerum, am I from Brazil? No But I have a little bit of accent Maybe maybe I go Brazil or maybe people think I speak Portuguese maybe because I, I feel like I can do a little bit of a, a Portuguese accent there. So what do you think? Did I pass? Tell me, Brazilians, how was my accent? -y? Was it very good? -y? Or not so good? -y, maybe so bad? -y? I think -y, mm, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Okay, let's, let's skip that. Hello, Aruani. Tomoto, you sound, uh, sound like you got a Japanese last name. Silvius is perfect. Julius is really all oh, my Brazilian Sam accurate. Can I turn the volume down? Absolutely. Let me turn that down. I'm screaming into this thing. Sorry. Maybe that's better. Great accent. Makes me. I'm uh, so happy. I'm so happy. I have it here. I have it here. One cough. One cough for me. Very good coughs. Oh, and I hear someone's coming into my room. So, anyways, I'm I'm very happy to impress the Brazilians. Come back. Come back with my Brazilian accent. I've disappeared here for a second. Oh, somebody's there, nobody's there. Okay, now I'm back. So here we go. Let's let's get into the real business that we're here for. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like I could I feel like I could be a pretty good Brazilian. Uh, maybe I'm going to have to come there. So if you guys know any cool jobs available for an English teacher with a very good accent, maybe I come to Brazil and I hang out with you guys. It is too late. Okay, okay, Hyum, let's get it going. It's too late. That means, Kent, shut up. Start teaching something. Okay, here we go. So today is a pretty good topic. Um, today, let me share this with you. The topic of the day is today, I'm going to teach you how to write an awesome essay. Because I know some students have been asking before, maybe some students have a test, uh, maybe doing some kind of you know proficiency course like an IELTS or a CAE, and maybe this is just generally good for you. Sound settings, I'm gonna turn them down right here. 
Let me know if that's okay. Tell me, because we've made some changes recently, so the sound has gone up and down. Let me know if that's better. Turn up. I got some people saying turn up, some people turn down. No, not down. Okay, let's try here. How about that? Can you guys hear me? Good? Not too bad? No, okay, all right. Jerome's doing some kind of test. No sound. Oh, Gloria, I don't know. Check both ears. Some people say good, some people say no sound. Not sure why there'd be no sound. My, my microphone says it's okay. Yeah. Check. Uh, not bad. It's okay. Okay. Turn it up a little more. I'll try not to scream. I don't have that perfect voice like Sean. You know, Sean's got that perfect, like, how do you write a really good essay? He never goes too high and he never goes too low, does he? Okay. So anyways, today we're going to learn how to write an awesome essay. And what, what I can do, let me put this... Let me stop being so sexy and let me put my shirt up and maybe the microphone's a little closer and maybe that's a little better. All right, so we're going to write about how to write an awesome essay today. So let me share this document with you. You're going to need this one. Okay, everybody. Okay, so please take this document. It's in the chat. Uh, open it up. Okay, well, I'll turn it up a little bit more. If Turn my voice down. If I'm screaming... Turn it down, just turn your volume down. Okay, so like I said, I know people have asked about this before, so let's do it. Let's write an intro, let's write an awesome essay today. That's what we're gonna do today. Uh, so, and I'll even, maybe we'll, we'll go to the internet and I'll show you a few things that examiners like myself might look for in your essay, and that might be a good way to start. Okay, all right, good. Okay, yeah, I am in a hole, a little bit of a black hole, but that's okay. Let's add some color, shall we? So here we go, let's, let's bring up some content. No more blackness. So here we go, question of the day. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna make it real easy for you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick you up and I'm gonna carry you do, 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 through how to write an awesome essay. I don't mind, it's cool. So here you go, this is the question you need to answer. So the question is, what do you think is awesome? Pretty easy, right? So here you go. Let me put it in the chat. That's for you. What do you think is awesome? And I want three things. I want you to write down three things. Um, and let's just start with that. Okay, so your first job of the day before you write your awesome compare and contrast. Ooh, uh, we'll see. We'll see how we go. I'll, I'll try to throw some compare and contrast into the essay that we're doing. Um, but I'm going to give you the basics of how to write the essay. So that's your job. What do you think is awesome? Food is awesome. I agree, Jerome. Um, while you guys are doing it, I'm going to do it as well. Playing video games. And again, give me some more information. Why? Why is that awesome? I know why it's awesome. I play video games too. Assassin's Creed. A little bit addicted to that game. It's pretty fun. Tell me why it's awesome. So I'm going to do, while you guys are doing that, I'm going to do the same thing. So number one, I gotta tell you, my first love is travel. Travel is awesome. I love going around the world. I love meeting people from different cultures. I work in a, in a classroom and I meet students from around the world every day. Brazilians, Colombians, uh, Iranians. Uh, who else is in my class? Italian, I got an Italian, you know. So I, meet, I get to meet uh, Japanese, Korean. I get to meet people from around the world every day. It's awesome. Travel is the best. Yes, Danilo, that's the correct answer. Hey Gianni, that's the best answer. You got it. Travel is awesome. <laughs> Earning more money is pretty awesome too. I agree. That's cool. Driving, driving a plane, a fly, not driving, flying. Flying a plane is awesome. You asshole. Mm, Milani, 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 Milani. Uh, you are awesome. Something. I'm not sure. Uh, Enhike, life. Life is awesome. I like that answer, Enhike. That's a great answer. Life is awesome. And that's actually a good writing topic. So if you guys really like these things, keep those because we're going to use them. We're going to use one of them today. People are awesome. Yeah, I agree. People are awesome. Food, video games, those are things that are all awesome. What else we got here? Hey, Fatima, what's up? We're talking about awesome things. What are three things you think are awesome? It's all on, the, it's all on my screen right over there. Uh, so travel, yeah, money, yeah, 
travel. Yes, good. I like Edgar's explaining his answer. When you travel, you learn new culture, different foods, new people. Life, life, L-I-V-E, L-I-F-E, Judith, is awesome if you enjoy every opportunity which, I which lies ahead. Yes. Uh, Munira, interior design is awesome. Sounds cool, yeah. I don't mind that. Kamrul, hello Kamrul, welcome to the chat. Watching the World Cup of Football is awesome. Yeah, some people like checking that out. We have that at our school. A lot of students are excited about it. It's pretty cool. Uh, Mimud, painting. Uh, painting is awesome. Painting relaxes your mind and maybe helps you to enjoy time. Could be. Swimming. Tracking. What is tracking? Arslan, welcome to the chat. What is tracking? Not sure about that one. Trekking, maybe? Maybe trekking. Uh, nature is awesome. I agree. The beach is awesome. Daniela, I agree with that. Daniela, the water laying on the sand is pretty cool. Yeah, good. Oh, Lolly. Answer of the day. It's awesome to drink some cold beer because I am thirsty with the high temperature. I agree. That's that's the second best answer of today for me. Nature, health, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Soccer, learning English, Fatima, that's the third best answer. Travel one, beer two, learning English. Close three. Friendship is awesome. Friendship is awesome, you asshole. Yeah, these are a lot of positive things here. Getting a free ticket to Mars will be awesome. Learning new things is awesome. Eating food is awesome. I agree with all those things. These are all amazing ideas. Silvio, driving a race car in an official rally, check your spelling, official and rally, like Paris, big P, uh, can be very exciting. Yes, I agree. Rain, oh, there's an interesting one. Rain is awesome. I personally don't like rain because I live in Vancouver, but I hear you. So here we go. I'm going to go. Falling, oh, Jose, well, you big sweetheart, falling in love. Look at you, eh? All right, coffee. You know I like coffee. I always got coffee. I always talk about coffee. And I'll be honest with you, that's probably going to be my essay topic. Not because coffee is special. Well, it is. But because that's, I'm going to show you how easily you can write an essay with a really simple topic. So I'm going to choose a really simple topic just to help you see how you're going to do it. Travel, coffee, and what? What's my last one? Beer. But it's not a good one to write about. Uh, I'll keep those two. Skydiving. Uh, anyways, those two. That's fine. I'll start with that. Donuts. Love donuts. Yeah, donuts are awesome. What else we got here? Learning new things. Yeah, being healthy. Being a healthy stat. What's a stat? is awesome too. Family is awesome as well. Uh, all right, very nice. My last name means coffee. Oh, great last name. Ca yeah, you're right, Edgar. Cafe, coffee. Great last name. Like you already. Uh, your last one is beer. Yeah, okay, fine. We'll put beer. I'll probably, I'll be honest, uh, I probably won't write about beer, but beer is a good topic. Okay, we got an idea. So now, next, I would like you to choose, please choose one. So the next question is, which one are you going to write about today? That's your next question. Boom. Which one are you going to write about? So choose one of those. Choose a simple one. Today we're just going to go real simple, and we're going to show you how to build an essay. So choose an easy one. I'm going to choose. I'm going to write about coffee because coffee is easy, easy to talk about, and it's simple. It's not complicated. And later, when you write a more complicated essay, then you're good. Travel's a good one as well. Lots of ideas. Choose the choose the topic which has a lot of ideas. So now I'm going to show you something. I'm going to introduce you. So here's a question I'd like you guys to answer for me. How do, what makes a good essay? Okay, coffee is a great topic. What makes a good essay? And maybe a close question, a second question. Your socks are awesome. I'll be honest, today they're not that special, but most of the time, so my socks are pretty awesome. And a little secret, my socks always match my shirt. And I find things look pretty good when you do it that way. Thank you very much, Fatima. I'm sure you have cool socks as well. What makes a good introduction? And the second question is, what do examiners, mm -hmm, like me, yeah, you're right. You're like, can't you're an examiner? Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's true. I examine. Uh, so the question is, what do examiners want to see when you are 
Uh, when, what do examiners want to see in an essay? So let's do those two questions. Those two questions, you can answer them together. What makes a good essay? And maybe more important is the second question. Maybe don't, if you know what, let me get rid of this one. Get rid of that one. Because I'm going to show you today what makes a good essay. So let's just do this one. What do examiners want to see? Right? Like when we mark your exam, when your English teacher marks your exam, what do you, th what do you think they want to see? I'm going to, I'm going to, a lot of ideas, yes, that's a good answer. I'm going to pull up an IELTS chart here. This is public. Anybody can look at this. And this will, this will help us to kind of understand IELTS writing band. So you search for IELTS writing band descriptors. And you can go there, and it's all online. So I'm going to look at the writing task two. Where are you? Writing task one, where's the two? Give me the two. That's the one I want. They're very similar, honestly. Or task two, here we go. So you can get this. You can get this online. You can go look at it. Let's see what you guys got. Good grammar, yes, I agree. Vocabulary, yes. A coherent text, correct? A good introduction, yeah, Gloria, you're right. But we're not doing creative writing today. We're doing more academic writing. So I'm going to say that a good introduction is not super important today. If you're writing a book, yeah, good introduction, right? You want good introduction. But today, it's not going to be super important. All right, what else you guys got? A good range of vocabulary, yes. The topic, the introduction, conclusion, sure. Well-constructed text, introduction, development, and conclusion, yes. <laughs> Jim, I'm still in coffee, yes, coffee. Good handwriting, yeah, yeah. I mean, these days we can type, right? So it's kind of important. Think of an examiner. What are they really looking for? OK, you guys got it. So let's take a look here, shall we? I'm going to show you a few things. So let's start with this. I'm not going to spend too much time because we're going to have to write this essay. So let's take a look here. I'm going to show you what examiners look for. This is IELTS, but IELTS and Cambridge, they're going to be kind of similar, and TOEFL, they're going to be kind of similar, and a lot of writing will, will look for similar things. So let's take a look at this here. And you can, like I said, you can search, go to the internet and search IELTS Writing Band Descriptors Task 2, or let me give you the link, and you can find this as well. So here you go, here's a link. Go to the internet, whoa, that's a big link. Maybe I'll get rid of that. Okay, go away. Go away. Oh, it's just screwed up. Anyways, if you want, you can go to the internet, search writing IELTS, writing band descriptors, task two. Okay? And that then you can look at the same paper that I'm looking at. You can download it or whatever. So anyway, so, so let's take a look at what, what an examiner is going to look for. Number one, so let's start with the first one. It says task response. Basically, task response is, did you answer the question very well or not very well? All right, and if you look at uh, level nine, this is like a native speaker, like a Canadian of, you know, speaking English or an American speaking English or an Australian. So basically, what does it say here? So uh, level nine, the highest level in IELTS, will do these things. So level nine in IELTS fully addresses all parts of the task. Basically, you answer all the questions, lots of detail. Number two, presents a fully developed position in answer to the question. So basically, did you answer the question very well? That's, that's, part of, that's one of the things examiners will look for. Hello, Saeed. We're looking at exams and how to write an awesome one. You arrived just in time. All right, so task response, did you answer the question very well? That's one thing examiners will probably look for. IELTS, Cambridge, TOEFL, all those things. Number two, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some of these with you today. Not extensively, but we're gonna get a taste of it. Number two, cohesion and coherence. Coherence, organization, paragraphs. Um, how did you organize your, so good organization, coherence, cohesion. Connecting words, for example. Firstly, secondly, thirdly, finally, in conclusion, to begin with, another reason why, right? Also, also is another cohesion, right? Cohesive devices. The link doesn't work. Okay, that's fine. Maybe there's no link, but just search it. It'll be better. 
Okay, so organize that. You can think of cohesion and coherence as organization. Did you organize everything very well or not? Lexical resources, vocabulary, right? It is difficult to pronounce coherence and cohesion. Uh, lexical resources, vocabulary, a wide range. So for example, uh, did you use one word or did you use three, four words together? Kind of like one word. So for example, if I say, it is important to, it is important to. In English, we usually say this, and this is a combination of four words. It is important to, blah, 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 blah. Because I use these four words together and I use them correctly, that's good vocabulary, all right? But if you make a one little mistake here, it's not as good. Your, your level's not as high. You kind of lose points. And the last category is grammatical range and accuracy. So range. Can you use different kinds of grammar? If, when, after, before, even though, although, uh, relative clauses, he is the guy who, she is the girl, she is the, that is the company which, can you use different kinds of grammar? And accuracy, are they correct or are they bad sentences? Okay, so these are, just very quickly, uh, some of the things that an examiner is going to look for. Okay, so just that. This is on the internet. You can take a look at it anytime, and it tells you what, what you need to be aware of. And you can also kind of like figure out, you know, where you are by looking at that. Okay, so let's go back to our writing, and we're going to take you through it step by step. Uh, okay, so now you have your topic. So next question. I'm going to throw this to the chat because you're sitting there listening to me go blah, 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 blah. Next question. What makes a good introduction? Please give me your answer. And we're going we're gonna to talk about it, and I'm going to write about it while you're giving me some answers and while I'm drinking my coffee. Mm. Not bad. Not bad, Phil and Sebastian. Okay, so what makes a good introduction? Um, using complex and compound sentences, not necessarily, but could be. The hook. And remember, creative writing, like you're writing a book, okay, you need a hook. But I think today we're really not talking about creative writing. So everybody's saying hook, hook, hook. But let me give you a different idea. Remember, this is, this is acad so today we're going to talk about academic writing, not creative writing. Yeah, everybody's got the same thing. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a few different ideas today. You're not wrong. I mean, a hook's good. Um, but I'm going to give you a few things. So number one, what makes a good introduction? Uh, we're going to introduce the topic generally. Okay, so now we're going to start building. So now I'm going to go down, and I'm going to go down to where it says here on this document. I'm going to start writing my awesome essay. So my topic is coffee. So what am I going to do? I'm going to go, I'm going to take this idea, I'm going to introduce the topic generally, and not to explain, mm, not give too many details. Let me let me show you what I mean. Introduce the topic. So let's. So now we're going to go down. Please go down, 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 and I want you to go down here. Do 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 do. My awesome essay. So I'm going to write my first sentence. Now, when you write your sentence, put it into the chat so we can check it together. So here, watch mine. So my, my essay topic is coffee. What is your topic? So you can write. Boom. It's kind of my introduction. Why is my introduction so short? Good question. IELTS essays, TOEFL essays, Cambridge essays. How many words can you write? Is it 150, 250, or 10,000? It's not 10,000. It's really short. So save yourself some time. Don't make big introductions. Keep your introduction short. So if I go back up here, introduce the topic generally. Uh, and keep your introduction short. Keep your, and I'll give you this, keep your introduction short 
for short essay. Of course you know that, right? But maybe you don't. Maybe you write big introductions like this, and it's like, no, no, don't waste your time. Those introductions don't give you points, right? And you want points, right? You want those tat you want those answer points. So don't write long introductions. Keep your introduction short for short essays. Exactly. Say it together. All right. So, uh, okay. So now we got here. So a lot of people around the world drink coffee. It's general, right? Did I give so much information? No. I just kind of introduced. Here's my topic. So please, your turn. Uh, I want you guys now write. So write your. Let me go back up here because I think I did it already. So now you guys go ahead. You put it into my. Put it into the chat. Give me your your introduction and maybe just one maybe two sentences I'll put that there one to two sentences really short okay so go ahead your turn <laughs> yeah too big of an introduction there you go uh, Arslan what this this is also called no not yet Arslan kids stay with me we're still on the introduction topic sentence will come later so we're just doing real short right now so go ahead your turn take your topic not my topic take your topic and write your introduction. Okay, so what makes a good introduction? Now, write your uh, first one to two sentences to introduce. Okay? Okay, don't use my topic, use your topic. Okay? All right. Hello, Gertrudis. How are you doing? Welcome. Uh, JB's in the house. What's up, JB? How are you doing? We're doing essays. Okay, so so guys, your turn. Go ahead. That's mine. Your turn. Now write your introduction introductory sentence. Okay, maybe, maybe you need more. So let me let me finish mine and then we'll go. So what else do we need in a good introduction? Really short to the point. So uh, keep my introduction short for essays. One to two sentences, that's probably enough. And then explain what I'm going to write about. You can think of that as your thesis. Okay, so here we go. Let me write my thesis. A lot of people around the world drink coffee. Uh, in this essay, and I always say, tell you, students can do that. You can say that. It's nice and clear. In this essay, I'm going, oops, let me do that here, make that a little bit smaller. In this essay, I'm going to explain why coffee is awesome. All right, so I would like you guys to do your, can you please do your introduction? So here we go, your turn. Write your introduction about your topic. All right, I'll put that in the chat. Boom. So go ahead, your turn. Write your introduction, short and sweet. Nothing big, nothing crazy. Really, like how many sentences did I write? Two, two sentences. Remember, your essay is going to be small, so you don't want a big introduction. Don't waste your time. There's no points. There's no points. There's no points in the introduction, so just write one or two sentences. Done. And now we can start the essay. So what do you got? Let me see. Not yet, Kamral. Not yet. Jose, around the world, there are a lot of architects, but only a few can design an airport. Very nice. Good. Simple. And then after that, write your thesis statement. So, so let me label this as well. A lot of people around the world drink coffee. General, introduce topic. Generally. Oh, this is a little messy. And then, thesis. Statement. So you see, I only got two things here. I got that and that. So let me put that there. Okay. 
All right, so there we go. That's my introduction, done. Around the world, a lot of people around the world drink coffee. Boom, I introduced my topic, great. In this essay, I'm gonna explain why coffee is awesome. Boom, done, super easy. What do you guys write? Okay. Okay, no, 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 let's see here. Oh yes, nowadays the consumers of coffee are augmented ED remarkably. So what is the reason of that wine decline? Mm, so what is the reason? Maybe just finish there. Yeah, you can put a sent you can put a question for your essay, it's possible as well. Jose was good. Uh, Danilo, it's supposed to be hundreds of labels for the world and movements millions of dollars. Mm, Danilo, what is your topic? It's not quite clear. Silvio, Brazilian has <laughs> Brazil has the best coffee in the world. Drinking coffee is a common habit in Brazil. That's okay. That's okay, Silvio. Uh, is your topic about Brazil or is your topic about why coffee is awesome? Be careful. Be careful that you don't whoop, go this way. So for me, my essay is why is, I made it really simple today. Why is coffee great? Why is coffee awesome? A lot of so I just introduced real generally a lot of people around the world drink coffee in this essay I'm going to explain why coffee is awesome so I answer my question in my thesis statement right okay uh, no 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 I don't mind sending it again let me get that one there we go there you go Make that a little bit smaller. Okay, there we go. Chocolate, there we go. So here's a new one. Uh, you can finish it with a question, Ilias. Yeah, it's possible. Um, I, I don't. I don't prefer it, but you can. I've seen people do that. Faith. Chocolate is almost an addiction. Hello, Faith. Hello. Chocolate is almost an addiction, but prohibited by law. Okay. What makes coffee so popular all over the world? Yep, yeah, I know what... I know a lot of people from I know a lot of people like to use questions. Uh, you can you can definitely do that. Uh, okay. So anyways, so this was my first thing. So let me make that smaller. Uh, I just wanted to uh, this is really annoying. I'll try to make that there. Okay. So you can see my introduction is super short. Okay. Now, let's go on. So now that's my introduction, and it's done. Boom, super easy. Now, next, let's go back up. Now let's go to our topic sentences. Now we're going to talk about. So let's start with this question. What are topic sentences? What are topic sentences? And I've given you the answer. The answer is right here. Uh, so topic sentences explain, introduce what you're going to write about, or better yet, maybe let's use this word, what you're going to explain. Okay, so now, here's what you can do. And topic sentences are often short. And let me write my first topic sentence so you can get an idea. So now, I'm going to go, I'm going to put this on down here, I'm going to put paragraph one. Okay, I'll just put paragraphs. Okay, so now I'm going to put this in your chat. I'm going to put these three ideas in your chat. So what I'd like you to do, so I'll show you. I'd like you to do this three times and use your topic. Don't use my topic. Okay, so this is your job. So please take those three ideas. And I want you to finish. So my idea was coffee number one. So what's my idea? So coffee is awesome because um, it gives people energy. Coffee number two, coffee is awesome because it tastes great. And number three, coffee is awesome because it tastes great, gives energy, tastes great, and What's my third? Why, are why else is coffee awesome? It gives me something to do when I'm, you know, when I got nothing to do. It gives me something to hold in my hand. Okay. So, well, my topic's coffee. 
Farah, but you can talk about anything you want. I'm giving you the, the organization to make your own essay, make your own awesome essay, but you have to do what you want. Okay, so so that's I'm giving you a real simple way to think about your topic. So what's your topic? Is your topic travel? Travel is awesome because, travel is awesome because, travel is awesome because. My topic was friends. Friends are awesome because, friends are awesome because, friends are awesome because. Whatever your topic is, finish that sentence three times about your topic. Right? So what was your, we talked about lots, some people said, um, food, food is awesome because, food is awesome because, food is awesome because. Yeah, okay. And what else? Coffee is awesome because it helps me. Oh, there we go. That's a better. That's yours is better than mine, JB. Yeah, it helps you stay awake. Coffee is e but coffee is awesome because it's easy to make? No, I don't know about that. Traveling is awesome because it, it gives an opportunity to escape the daily routine. Boom, nice. Mahmood, travel is awesome because we learn a lot about different cultures. Boom, very nice. JB says, "Come on, Kent, you have said all the popular things." Oh, sorry. Well, uh, don't choose coffee. Choose something else. Choose travel. Choose pizza. Choose cachaça. Whatever you want to choose. Faith. Chocolate is awesome because it lowers tension. Perfect. Good. Don't choose my coffee. You can say anything else. Um, travel. Pizza. The beach. You guys live on the beach in Brazil. Uh, okay. Immediate energy. Very good. Good. Hiking is awesome because it helps me to clear my mind. Good. Now, remember, you have to do that three times, and I'll tell you why soon. Travel is awesome because you learn different culture. Travel is awesome because you meet different people. Good. You've got two there, so that's pretty good. Very nice. So what am I doing here? Exercise is awesome because it keeps me healthy and strong. Awesome. Traveling is awesome because it makes you good. So now you're, you're, now you're getting it. You've got three different ideas. There we go. Kashasa. Is awesome because it gives people to courage to talk to girls at parties. That's probably true. All right. So now, now these three ideas. So you wrote three ideas in the chat. We are going to put these three ideas into three different paragraphs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here. And we're going to go paragraph one. Okay. Uh, so here, paragraph two. Paragraph three. Now, I'm going to take my three ideas. So paragraph one will be energy. And you can do this on your own paper. Give yourself the topic. So what's your topic? So number one, coffee is awesome because it gives you energy. Number two, coffee is awesome because it, what was the other one? Tastes great. Tastes good. And you can put these topics at the beginning of your paragraph, and that will help you to remember perfectly and remember, make your topics different. Don't keep similar topics, totally different topics, much better. Tastes good. And paragraph number three, what was the last one? JB, coffee helps you stay awake. Good. I'll use that. I'm going to steal yours, JB. But it's okay. There's no stealing. We're all sharing here. All right. So there we go. So, and these are my three paragraphs. And now I've, so remember, we're always connecting, right? So I have to my three paragraphs must connect to my introduction. So I'm doing that, there we go. Okay, so far so good. All right, so there we go. Now I got my titles. I know exactly what I'm gonna talk about. Now it's time to write. So let's write. So remember, right now we're doing topic sentences. So topic sentences, get my head out of the way. Introduce what you are going to explain, but doesn't explain anything, that's not clear. Let's go back to write about, but doesn't explain anything. Usually short. Okay, here we go. Now, cohesive devices, cohesion and coherence. Let's put a cohesive device in there. First of all, boom. And I'm going to underline this because these are important. Remember, your examiners are usually, if it's an English exam, IELTS, FCE, TOEFL, your examiners are probably looking for these words. First of all, second, in conclusion, another reason why coffee is great. Um, on top of that, also, as well, so all of those words, we need to use, I'll give you a rule. I think in every paragraph you have, you should probably use about two 
cohesive devices. So I'm going to try to do that for you today. So first of all, and again, what am I doing? I'm saying my, what's my topic about? Uh, coffee is awesome. So let's put my essay topic here. So this is my topic. Coffee is awesome. Don't forget your topic. So first of all, coffee is awesome because it gives you energy. Okay, so that's my first topic sentence. Boom. Really short, easy, simple, right, direct. I'm not really explaining very much. I'm just kind of giving you the first topic. So remember, your topic sentence, the first sentence of your paragraph is usually very short. Okay, number two. Now I'm going to show you something different. Same idea, another reason. So I didn't say first of all, second of all, third of all, finally, because that's a little bit robotic. And some examiners might say, oh, it's simple, too simple. So I'm going to give you another one. Another reason why coffee is great. I didn't say awesome again. I changed my word. Similar uh, is because it tastes amazing. Boom. Okay, so another reason why. This is also a cohesive device. So now I have one cohesive device in my, per in my first, and I also have another in my second. And now my third paragraph, uh, finally, uh, coffee is beneficial. Similar to great, awesome, right? Well, I, I guess you gotta be careful, don't change the word too much. So I'll just say coffee is, aw I'll say again, awesome, because I'll use since, I won't use because, I'll use since it keeps you awake. So you can see I'm changing a little bit of thing, but I have a cohesive device, good organization and everything. So I have good organization, good coherence because I'm, I'm writing a nice paragraph. And I have good cohesion because I'm using, first of all, another reason why, finally. Okay, so now it's your turn. I want you to write three topic sentences. I'll put this in here. Write three topic sentences for your three paragraphs. Okay, go ahead. Your, t your turn, your homework time, and then we're going to jump in after that. So do that first. So let's see what you guys said. Okay, so Rodrigo, first of all, carbohydrates give energy to the body. What is your topic, Rodrigo? Is it about uh, food? There we go. If it's food, then it's perfect. Okay, um, what else? Lale, beer is good for removing thirst. You should, but you should drink it in moderation. Why is beer awesome? First of all, beer is awesome because it removes thirst. Finished, done. No explaining anything in your topic sentence. Your topic sentence is similar to your introduction. Just introduce, introduce your topic, but don't explain anything. Your topic sentence super short, to the point, the next sentence is we will explain everything. But in English, the first sentence, very clear, very short, no explanation, right? No why, 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 no, 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 not yet. Just simple. Beer is good for removing thirst. Done. Finished. Okay, uh, Sylvia, I think staying awake can be used on the paragraph about energy. Ooh, you're right. You're right, Silvio. Um, so, because I agree with Sylvia, remember, because this is a good rule, we don't want to repeat ideas, right? We don't want to repeat vocabulary too much. We don't want to repeat too much. So I'm, I agree. I'm going to change my topic. I'm going to say, um, give me something to do, okay? Okay, so there we go. Coffee is awesome since it gives me something to do. Boom. Okay, I agree. That is better because I don't want two topics that are similar. Uh, let's see here. What are, where else was I? Okay, Gloria, another reason for traveling is when you get to enjoy different scenic views. Sounds good, Gloria. I like it. Okay. Um, All right, so how are we doing here? Let me scroll. I think I got everybody. 
And again, your ASO, flying in an airplane is awesome because don't explain anything in your topic sentence. Just really short to the point. How are we doing here? No, so not, you can use because, but don't explain anything, right? Like I just said, uh, so here, I'm just using these ideas again, right? Tastes amazing, energy. So I didn't explain anything yet, really. I just said, oh, coffee is great because of this. You know, I explained a little, but there we go. Not very much, right? I just kind of introduced. All right. Uh, do, 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 do. Where are we at here? Oh, <laughs> I like the cachaca one. Very nice. Uh, good. Faith, so you got a good one there. That sounds like an introduction, right? Nobody can deny that chocolate plays a vital role in lowering stress and tension. Okay. Sounds like an introduction, right? Hurrah. First of all, water is good because it hydrates, with an S, the body. Danilo, first of all, cachaca is awesome because it can be mixed with lemons. Another reason is because it tastes delicious with ice. Are they similar or different? And finally, in my country, it has a lot of brands. Cachaca is awesome because it has a lot of brands. Can you explain that idea, Danilo? If you can't, maybe choose a different idea. If you can, okay, no problem. But you have to be able to explain it. All right, uh, what else we got here? Rasso, first of all, flying an airplane is awesome because I, yeah, okay, we did that one. But be careful. Uh, cam rule, nice. At first, not at first, but maybe first of all, or first, or to begin with, doing regular exercise is important because it keeps people healthy. Good. Very nice. It's simple, it's short, and you introduce the idea. Just change that cohesive device. Uh, Eunice, to be to being with, no, 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 to begin, B-E-G-I-N, to begin with, depression is terrible because it makes you crazy. Good. Simple, short, very nice, good. Um, Adrian, we're doing, uh, we're doing how to write an awesome essay in English. Uh, Mahmood, first of all, comma, travel is awesome because you enjoy, you can enjoy natural, A-L, beauty. Okay, learning English. Uh, Nihal Nihal, first of all, learning English is awesome because it is an international language. Learning English is awesome or useful, and again, you can decide what is your essay topic. Uh, what else we got here? Cachaca is, what? Rodrigo, you don't know? Yeah, oh, sorry, you're asking. Yeah, it's a spirit. It's a sort of spirit. Um, Lolly, drinking some beer with friends makes you cheerful. Sure, cool. All right, good. All right, we got it. First of all, Daniela, what do we got here? Uh, Silvio said, in addition, drinking, drinking, I-N-G, coffee is, no it, drinking coffee is a good way to spend time. Yes? Daniela, first of all, travel allows you to know different people and make new friends. Second, travel gives you the opportunity to know different cultures. Yep, good. Okay, I'm going to jump in here. So now we've done this, we've done the topic sentences for three of our paragraphs. Now we've got to go into the details, so let's go back up here. And here we go. So now I'm going to jump in here. So now we've done that, we've got our topics, and now I'm going to do supporting sentences. So here, let me throw this question to the group. What are supporting sentences? Okay. And the answer is all here. You guys have probably heard these words before. You know what I'm talking about. What do supporting sentences do? Supporting sentences explain or give more detail about topic sentences. So my topic sentence, number one, gives you energy. Now I'm going to explain, 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 explain. Topic number two, tastes great. And now I'm going to explain, 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 explain. Why, 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 how, 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 how. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so this is what we're going to do now. So your supporting sentences explain your topic sentence. And we're going to give more details. We're going to say who, what, when, where, why, how. Or maybe I'll give a personal story or an example, right? This is what we're going to do. And I'm going to give you a general rule. If you have one topic sentence, one topic sentence, uh, coffee is awesome because it gives you energy, I want to explain this idea three times. 
And if you do that, if you explain one idea three times, three different ways, that's probably going to be a pretty good essay. So your new one, your new way to remember is the rule of three. If you give one big idea, you explain the big idea three times, right? And so this is a, this is a good way to remember, and this will get you more points, because this is where you get your answer points, especially in IELTS or maybe a TOEFL, right? The more details you give, you get more points. So don't spend time on your introduction, no points. Spend time on your paragraphs, more points. Now, let's go. So now I'm going to write, so now I'm back here. So I got my topic sentence. So, and I remember, I have three topic sentences, right? Boom, boom, and boom. So I got three topic sentences there. Now I'm going to explain them with my supporting sentences. So let's start with the first one. First of all, coffee is awesome because it gives you energy. When you wake up in the morning, your body is tired. So coffee can, I'll give you a new word, kickstart, speed up, up your, uh, speed up your morning. In addition, second cohesive device, boom, in your face, spanking it. In addition, second cohesive, so you can see I got two cohesive devices in each paragraph. First of all, and in addition. Sounds good, right? So in addition, um, when you wake up in the morning, your body's tired, so when you wake up in the morning, your body's tired. So coffee can speed up your morning. Uh, in addition, coffee, and you can see I say coffee again and again because it's my topic, it's my subject. Coffee uh, increases uh, your. Um, let's see what else am I going to say. I got and again I have to explain my ideas, make sure my ideas are clear. Coffee is awesome because it gives you energy. When you wake up in the morning, your body's tired, so coffee can speed up your morning, uh, speed up your speed up your. No, let me change that. So coffee can give you more energy when you are tired. Um, okay, so when you are tired. In addition, some people, some people need, need a lot of energy when they are working. Boom! For example, cohesive device. So that's also a cohesive device. For example, teachers need to entertain students so they can enjoy their learning. Coffee can help them to do this. Boom! Very nice. Oh, coffee so useful. All right, and you can see here in my first paragraph, I got three cohesive devices, right? So, and how many ideas did I have? Well, so first, let me, let me color code this for you. You're gonna love me. You're gonna love me after this. So here's my topic sentence. Check it out. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this all in colors. You guys will be so impressed. So my topic sentence is gonna be by blue, and then my extra ideas, which explain my topic sentence, are gonna be a lighter blue. Oh, that one's a little bit dark. Let's make that a little bit brighter. And a little bit less red. Yeah, let's make it a little bit less. Okay, so you can see the dark blue is my topic sentence, and then all the other sentences support, 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 support the topic sentence. Does that make sense? Okay, so your turn. I would like you guys to write, so you have your first idea, and I would like you to explain your first idea three times. Did I do that? I don't know. I think I did maybe two. 
When you wake up in the morning, your body is tired, so coffee can give you energy when you are tired. Number one. That's my number one idea. In addition, some people need a lot of energy when they are working. That's my number two idea. Okay, good. So you can see I got two ideas. Three is better than two, but look, I give a lot of information about two. In addition, some people need a lot of energy when they're working. For example, explain, explain, explain. So remember, when you're doing IELTS, when you're doing FCE, you get more points when you give little details, like little details. Topic sentence, three explanations. I gave two, but I did give a little extra detail. So you know what I mean? So there's no perfect way to write this, but if I were you. Uh, and remember, your essay it depends on the size of your essay. Are you writing a big essay or are you writing a super small essay? If you're writing a super small essay, maybe you don't have time to put so much information. So maybe just two ideas, right? And again, that's only my first paragraph. I still have two more paragraphs to go. Let's see how you guys did. Uh, so again, uh, I know you got, I know you're asked, so you guys were asking about a contrast, uh, contrast uh, essay. My essay is not a contrast essay because I only have one idea. It's coffee is great because, so I go, coffee is awesome. That's my essay. But if you had a contrast essay, you would you would follow the same the same organization, the same style, but you would have more like back and forth. So you'd say, which is better? Um, coffee or tea? <laughs> coffee or tea? And you would say, well, you know, some people like coffee uh, because, you know, because you can put milk and sugar in it. However, contrast, some people prefer tea because they don't like a lot of fat and carbohydrates to make them fat. Compare and contrast. So I can use my, this organization and I can still do a compare and contrast essay. So I'm really giving you the skeleton and giving you a system for writing, and then you can put compare and contrast in this writing, no problem, okay? So you can use everything that you're learning today, but instead of why is coffee awesome, you're not gonna write about that. You're gonna say, you're gonna do a compare and contrast topic. What's better, coffee or tea? Uh, you know what I mean? So you can still take everything we've learned here and apply it. All right, so how are we doing here? Come rule, when people do physical exercise regularly, they prevent themselves from, uh, from um, they pre prevent themselves from, not attacking heart disease, um, they prevent them, they reduce, they reduce their, when people do physical exercise, they reduce their chance of getting heart disease. Moreover, cohesive device, very nice. Uh, no, 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 here's some more information. Faith. Many researchers proved that chocolate, especially black chocolate, excreted some substance which makes people more relaxed and relieved. Okay? Even in our daily life, we buy, cho we buy chocolate to feel better. Pretty good. Yeah, I like that. Uh, okay? And again, the only thing that looks good, Faith, uh, just be careful if, if there's an opportunity, if, you, if you're doing some essay like IELTS or something like that, IELTS and Cambridge and TOEFL, they like these cohesive devices, right? First of all, in addition, for example, you can do it without, but I think if you're doing a, an English academic test, you might want to put a few of those in there, but everything else looks fine. Um, getting a heart attack? Having a heart attack. That sounds good to me. All right, how are we doing here? So, uh, your turn. I'd like you guys to write three supporting supporting sentences for one topic sentence. Okay, so you can put them all together if possible and put them in the chat. All right, so you know, so that was mine. I said, first of all, coffee is awesome because it gives you energy. Great. And then explain, explain, explain. That's what the, that's what, so this was my topic sentence, big idea. And then explain, 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 explain two or three times, right? Rule of three is a good rule. And I explained it and I used some cohesive devices. Boom, boom, boom. So the first paragraph is like this. The second paragraph is the same style. The third paragraph is the same style. And then I have to write my conclusion. I might not have time to do I'll, I'll try to hang out for a bit more time. I'm going to have to run away soon. 
But this is the basics, right? So all you do after you do your introduction, you do your first paragraph like this, you do your second paragraph like this, and you do your third paragraph like that. And then boom, your essay is almost done. You just need your conclusion. All right, so how are we doing here? Is everybody busy writing? Or did you fall asleep, fall asleep in your coffee there? Hope, hopefully you guys are finding this useful. It's a, it's a tough topic sometimes. Um, so maybe while you guys are doing that, I'm going to jump ahead and go into the conclusion section. So we did supporting sentences, and now I'm going to do the conclusion. Uh, so what do you do? What, uh, what should be in a conclusion? So maybe while we're doing that, I'll give you, I'm going to throw this one to the chat. So the next one is what should be in a conclusion? So I'll give you guys the homework assignment of going home and doing this on your own and, and just using this system and I think you'll, you'll, it'll help you. In English it'll be more clear. So what should be in a conclusion? What kind of stuff should we put in there? Well, uh, a conclusion should it should uh, summarize the topic, it should summarize the thesis statement, or you kind of have two options, or the topic sentences. This is the way I usually look at it. Some people like to do the long way, looks good, right? Or you can just do the easy way, just the thesis statement. Okay. Um, Sometimes um, you can kind of, uh, I'll put this as an option, you can add your final thoughts on the topic, about the topic. It's kind of an option. And I'll put this here. And then it could be final thoughts or recommendation. That's what I wanted. Okay, pretty easy. And again, remember your conclusion, super short. So very short. Two sentences. Like remember, IELTS, 250 words. It's not very much time. Conclusion, super short. Introduction, super short and no new information, correct. Very short, don't add new, that's a good point, Silvio. Don't add new information or explain anything. Well, I won't say don't explain anything because you could give a recommendation, which is like an explanation, but don't add new information. Yeah, it's done, your essay's done. You just say it again. What did you talk about? Say it again. All right, how are we doing here? So I, I, I appreciate you staying up, Camerol, uh, 4.38 a.m. in Bangladesh. It's pretty late. Uh, yeah, I, exactly. Sylvia, so don't add anything new. Gertruda says you're going to do it in homework and lunchtime. Okay, no problem, no problem. This is, all, this is just for you guys. You know, it's not for me. My English is not too bad. Uh, there you go. JB's got the summary. Coffee is a good drink to have with you at all times, everywhere. Sounds great. Yes, paraphrase the introduction or the topic sentences from the paragraphs. Depends which way. You can do it the short way or the longer way. All right. Uh, there you go. JB, perfect. I like that one better. Coffee has benefits for people in many situations because we did talk about why it's awesome, similar to benefits. Uh, Ilyas, a bunch of scientists have advised parents, no the, to encourage and stimulate their kids to play chess. The studies have shown that the kids who play chess frequently have s better study skills. All right, good. All right, so I'm going to jump ahead because I'm going to have to run away soon. I'm going to do my conclusion. So here we go. Conclusion. And if you want, say in conclusion. In conclusion, coffee uh, is is awesome. 
because it has many benefits it has and again what are, what did I talk about I said it uh, gives you energy it tastes good uh, what's a, what's another way to say it? let me do it let me do it the good way I'm gonna do it the long way coffee is awesome because it helps people stay energetic I'm gonna do it the long way stay energetic gives them something to do well, what else I taste good tastes great and gives people something to do okay so I'm, I'm not doing I'm doing nothing new here I'm just repeating again and again and again in English we repeat a lot and that helps it to be clear um, so there we go so I got my cohesive device I got in conclusion right so I got that so nothing new just repeating I'm just repeating my information from paragraph one two and three boom coffee is awesome because it helps people stay and taste great and give something to do um, and now my final thought do I have a final thought okay um, it people will likely continue to drink coffee for a long time because of these reasons or whatever people will likely continue to drink coffee in the future so it's kind of my final thought it's not a recommendation don't I don't need a recommendation because it wasn't really that kind of essay but that's my thought and there we go and now I'm done boom done spanked it <laughs> Okay, so you don't really say very much in the conclusion. The conclusion, you put a cohesive device in conclusion, finally, uh, maybe not finally, don't use finally, you say in conclusion. To summarize, you could also say that, to summarize. <laughs> Coffee should be promoted to regions where they don't know about it. It's like, hey, you guys in the jungle, have you tried coffee? It's amazing, you'll be so much more productive. Okay, that's okay. Rodrigo, if you don't have a good theme, if you're talking about your topic, it doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter. You can choose any topic you want. Coffee is awesome because. Kisses are awesome because. Hugs are awesome because. Smart English is awesome because. Uh, you know what I mean? It doesn't even matter. You can literally choose any topic you want, and you can use this organization to write your essay. And this is a pretty good organized essay in English. Of course, there's more we can do, but this will give you a good system to use in the future cohesive devices you know the grammar and stuff there's a lot more I could I could sit here and talk about this for a day but uh, this is a pretty good introduction and this will help you to have the style in English including cohesive devices and then the vocabulary and the grammar well good luck but uh, there we go can you say s coffee is a social activity um, Maybe, but are you introducing new information in your conclusion, Gertrudis? Don't do that in the conclusion. If you if you want to say coffee is a social activity, that would be paragraph four, for example. That would be paragraph four. I think that would be a good way to do that. Because remember, don't introduce new ideas. Okay, so maybe paragraph four. You say no, so maybe paragraph four, something like that. Okay. Ilyas, as an outcome of what I mentioned. Chess is more than a simple game and everyone should try it someday. That's fine, Ilyas. That's your final thought, right? So, and again, do you get points for final thoughts in IELTS or FCE or your TOEFL? Probably not. So don't put too much thought into your final thought. Um, that might not even be useful, right? You know, like, I gave you that, but honestly, I don't think you really need that. Final thought. Yeah, I just kind of added that. Yeah. Maybe your conclusion's one sentence, right? You don't need it. Remember, your points, these are your points. Those are your points in IELTS. Those are your points in TOEFL. Those little details explaining and good organization. Good organization is points. Cohesion and coherence, points. Giving a good answer, sorry. Giving a good answer, cohesion, coherence, vocabulary, grammar. Boom. That's, your, that's a good essay when you can do all of those things together you do want to put spaces right so if I wrote paragraph two I would go like this no 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 and then no. you know what I mean I would put it you need the space here 
you need that space in between there when you always always put your space that's a that's a little examiner tip from me to you paragraphs all the time okay so there we go I think that's it I think I've done my job I've shown you the English the English organization of an essay if it's different from yours if it's different from the way you write in your country use this system right short introduction topic sentence explain 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 cohesive devices first of all in addition no 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 another reason why take this home do some homework try to write an essay and uh, this is a good way to do it this will help you to write better in English okay so I think that's it for me I've done it I've done it for you thank you coffee for being awesome Mwah! I love you coffee is awesome everybody drink your coffee we'll see you next time stay smart keep writing essays keep writing about things which are awesome and keep doing things which are awesome I think that's really the lesson of the day do things which are awesome hug your friends drink your coffee travel the world and meet people from different cultures and kiss your mother okay bye bye everybody have a great day that's there get the copy from everyone else uh, and we'll see you next time. Just a young gun with the quick.